Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Tectonica. And I'm just looking at the satellite there, or the, the mission, the, the dish there, and I'm noticing it, it looks like it hasn't been scanned yet, but I know it has been. Uh, I have done a little bit of work here, I did uh, do a little bit of mining on the, the, the uh, Atlantum. I only got 142 ore, so I have no idea where I'm going to be able to find more of this. Uh, I have, as you can see by that map here, uh, let me bring it up. As you can see, I have done a little bit of mining over there. Uh, apparently, these mining charges, they actually do tunneling, so it's actually a little bit easier than uh, trying to use um, uh, the mole. Yeah, like, if I place it, let's go uh, make sure I don't drop down. If I place it on this wall here. Uh, there we go. Come on. There we go. It'll go that way. If I place it on the ground, it'll go down. If I place it up on the ceiling, it'll go up. As you can see, it's a mining charge. Uh, I have basically, I'm gonna have to try to do this to try to find this stuff here. Uh, as far as I know, I cannot actually mine this. I can only do it by blasting it. So I gotta find it first. But anyways, I am back. I do have the conveyors. I do have the cooling systems somewhere. My extensive inventory. I do have them here. Right there. So let's go and uh, unlock this door. See what ha see what this is all about. Uh, also, I uh, accidentally uh, hit the clear robe button on my hotbar, so I've been resetting it for tools and stuff like that. But let's go see what this actually does. I'm going to run across here and jump across without actually falling down the elevator shaft. All right, that that and repair. Now, I'm hoping that this is actually something that I can actually use. This elevator control console is dead. Fortunately, your suit was built to fall safely from any height. Mm -hmm. On Calyx, when all of your friends jump off a cliff, you get to jump off too. Oh, we heard that joke already. Wall 3 tunneling. Okay, that's just another type of tunneling. Uh, the tunneling is basically what I've been doing. It just uh, allows me to... Let's go here, bring up the mode, just allows me to do the different size. I can do the tunnel or I can flatten. So, yeah, that's that. But, uh, anyway, let's see what else we can find here. Stat cap 3. What? Oh, I guess that's a new ins inserter or something. M hall or cap 3. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. And cool dance 4. Okay. Anything in here? We got more of those. And. Advanced circuits. All right, so that's telling me what I'm looking for is somewhere around here. What? Uh, what did I actually mean? Oh. Just different plants. Okay. Uh, anything else to scan? A little goodies. Uh, doors. I guess not. All right, well, I do have these circuits. Now, how much do I actually need? Uh, I need 220 and 800. Well, let me have a look at the map here. See if maybe I can find something that's hidden somewhere. I did get that box. Uh, I did get these ones. These are down the lower level. That one's on the elevator. I do not know. Maybe there's something else I have to unlock. So there's that one there, the... Signal FH by crafting and possessing unknown piece of equipment. I have no idea what that wants me to do, so I might have to head back and craft one of everything and see where it goes. Anyway, I'll meet you back at the base. Okay, well, I haven't had any luck uh, trying to find it. I've crafted absolutely everything possible that I know of, and I have a feeling it might be these advanced circuits. Now, I have a feeling that these advanced circuits are actually going to be hidden behind. Let me uh, bring up the right window here. Uh, somewhere, in, not necessarily here. Uh, but one of these in the next stage of Victor. Again, it's hidden behind. I don't know which one it is. It's not telling me. Uh, I have scanned this. This is the one I found, but... Uh, I gotta unlock the next stage for it, by the looks of it, uh, everything is relying on, on Atlantum, which I need to find. Uh, what I am going to do is, since I have a lot of research saved up, including the blue, uh, I'm gonna, or the purple, is I'm going to get some suit speed. Definitely need the suit speed. 
Uh, not gonna worry about that. Might get that. Uh, there's something else I wanted to do here. Not worried about the mall. I can't do anything with that until now. Uh, could have sworn this was unlocked. But I guess it's not. Uh, I guess that's all it's going to be for now. I do got to find this eventually. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm looking for Atlanta. And there's not much else I can really do until I do. Anyway, uh, I'll be back. Okay, well, after about uh, 10 minutes of tunneling with mine or blasting charges all this way, I have actually found a deposit. I have no idea how much there is here, but let's uh, find out. I was actually pretty handy using this. Just did that, and then I place it over here, and then it just goes and mines it, blasts along, and I pick up the ores. Yeah, I'm up to 200 now. So I'm going to do this for a little bit, see what I can get. I don't, I don't know if I can do anything with this, but uh, hopefully I'll get what I need. Anyway, uh, we're back. So it seems, yes, this stuff is actually fairly common. I just kept tunneling around and I, well, I actually picked up another signal just back there and I don't think you can actually see it on the map. So as you can see, I didn't really go that far. Well, there is actually quite a bit, and what is that? Eh, we'll have to investigate that in a minute. Anyway, I'll get continue blasting. I did get about eh, about three hundred or so from the last trip, so we'll see what I can get. Okay, well, whatever it is, we should be should be there. I have been staircasing my way up, but I think if I just blast in through here. I find a uh, metal and more Atlantum, which is great, but we have something over here. I have no idea what it is. Oh, that's creepy. Won't be going in there. Not yet, anyways. Anyway, uh, I got some more blasting to do. Uh, I do have about that much right now. I need six stacks. Probably have to throw down a chest and dump all this limestone. Anyway, I'll be back. Well, curiosity got the better of me. So let's see what this is all about. Discovery of an unsettling structure. Yeah, no kidding. This is very strange. I don't have any light either other than what I'm seeing here. Uh, that's what I want, a scanner. Hmm. Warning. Unknown entity detected. That scared me. <laughs> Unknown entity. Uh, I'm going to continue mining. If there's trouble, I'll bring it back. But hopefully I can get home safe. Okay, so I've decided to uh, replace these two smelters with the Mark II that I found, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a long process. I also think I'm going to need more uh, more of the Atlantum as well, because it seems to be 3 to 1 on the ingot, and when I grind it, I'm only getting 1. I have a feeling that I'm going to need 3 times more of the ore that I have, which means I might have to go back to the other area to do that. Uh, needless to say, this is going to be running very slowly in the background. Uh, one couple of things we do, I do need to get set up is, uh, as you can see, about 5,000 iron frames and 5,000 copper frames. Uh, good news is, is biofuel has been, or the bio bricks have been f more or less fully upgraded as far as I can go right now. And I have quite a few. So let's go ahead and start filling up all our miners. Now I had this one going too, and this one is actually almost full as well. Or not full, but I have a lot of bio bricks. So I think half a stack in each machine should do fine. So half a stack in there, half a stack in there, uh, half a stack in here, and so on and so forth. I'm going to do the same at Lima, and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, I'm back. So I've got about half a stack of uh, bio brick in each of the smelters, and then the rest of the machines, uh, the drills I just filled up with 
plant matter because they seem to hold up better on that. Uh, anyways, uh, so now we gotta produce these and we gotta produce the iron frames. And I'm just gonna do this automatically with uh, um, assemblers. And I need more resources. We'll just go ahead and grab some off the line here. Hot off the press. Grab a few. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I actually have copper on me, so uh, let's see. I need. What am I missing? Oh, more iron. Uh, iron's easy to get. Grab it right there, and I can make one more assembler. I'm gonna make have to make a uh, few arms and conveyors and. Uh, Storage containers, yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Anyway, let me get this stuff together and I'll be back. Okay, so I've decided it's going to be relatively simple. Uh, I'm just putting it wherever I can fit it. Uh, it just happens to be on iron frames. Alright, so that's going to go in there and then being produced in there. And uh, where did I put the copper? Oh, yeah. Put the copper one over here. So we'll just go ahead and set this to copper and that's going to start doing its thing. I am feeding off of this line here because I'm not actually using it anymore. That was for. Uh, the accumulators, which I have for now, but we might need more down the road. Uh, probably won't be doing too much more after this episode. Uh, I'm more or less just waiting to get this whole thing unlocked. I'll probably do a little bit more off-camera blast mining and see if I can find some more lantern ore without, you know, running into some sort of unknown entity, which I have no idea what it is. Uh, as far as I know, there's no real hostile enemies or anything like that. I as far as I know, I can't actually die, but I could be wrong. Uh, what we can do before we finish this is see how much an amazing amount of research I have. Yes, that composer is full. I think I placed another one. I think that one's full already. But let's uh, see what we got in here. Um, I don't know if there's anything here I really need. Core clustering I might need, but I need this for the melting speed, which isn't much. But let's unlock it anyways. And locked so I have to find that somewhere I'm guessing all right what do we have for terraforming uh, drill speed sure we'll do that and oh yeah mark two drill now oh oh mines ores of exceptional hardness increases all ore speeds Ooh. You know what I gotta do with that, don't you? I'm gonna go check that out. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Because, uh, you know, I figured there had to be something about that, and I figured it was just all about drilling speed. I didn't know it actually got to the hardness. Uh, that one I'm still holding off on, but the bricks are doing pretty good for now. And other than that, that's about it. We'll get into that probably the next episode. Uh, don't know if that's really necessary at the moment. But I think that's about all I have left to unlock with the, the purples. And uh, there we go. So let me uh, see if I can go mine that uh, that chunk that was left over. Because I think that's what all, that's all about. So I'll be right back. Okay, well here's where things start to get interesting. Turns out there is a Mark II drill. And apparently it needs power. So it needs 900 kilowatts each. I have checked uh, my surplus. I have uh, over 2,000, so I have crafted two of these. Now, this is where these cables and uh, these connectors come in. Because I'm actually generating like 5,500 5, kilowatts here. Uh, and that's connected to anything on the power floor. Uh, these things here, as you can see, transfer power from cables to floors. So what I have to do is I'm going to go set up the lines over... The first place we found uh, where uh, that room was that I had to unlock. Uh, go on over there, set up the mines, and then feed a power cable coming all the way back here. And I'll probably get conveyors too, and probably might sit, get uh, this Atlantum line. Where, which one? There it is. And that Atlantum line up and running uh, automatically. But what are you waiting on now? Oh, the Kindle Vine, yes. It's a slow process, I'm going to have to get that all worked out. But anyways, uh, I will be back when I have something to show. Okay, I'm almost there. Uh, it seems like this cable actually goes quite a ways. 
Seems like uh, one cable can stretch for quite a while, so I actually made more than I needed to. But there we go. That should be connected. And why is it not getting power? Hmm. Everything should be connected. Cables are going to the wall, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, hmm. Yeah, everything is connected. Connected here, and there, and there. Or am I not generating enough power? Is the power only go so far? I have a feeling that might be it. I wonder if I have to build another one of these. Let's see, what do we got left? Give it a shot, I guess. Ah, it's working now. And apparently, I guess when it joined to two blocks like that, it didn't work. It actually had a little plug, and that was over in the river there. But it is working now. We are mining Atlantum at a fairly alarming rate. Cool. That means I gotta get a uh, conveyor set up. So I'm gonna lay out a conveyor line. I might have to make a few more. And uh, I guess we'll get this all sort of automated. And then hopefully in about a year it'll be done. Okay, we're up and running. And obviously I'm gonna have to get more inserters to pull it out. But I'm not processing it fast enough just yet. But I can always put more on there so anyways this is a very 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 long conveyor line that i have done i decided to cut to the wall here and then go over along here went underneath the lily pad through the water up the waterfall and skim skimmed across the surface went along through here this was this wasn't necessary this was just me not connecting things properly and we'll get rid of that and then the conveyor goes along here, and then goes up here, and over the wall, and then under the stairs, and continues on. And as I was placing these, Sparks actually had decided to have a little joke about conveyors and placing them and keep going and stuff like that. And then down to here, and hopefully this entire thing should be completely automated. Uh, at least I'm hoping. I'm actually hoping that uh, I can keep up. Right now, it seems to be seems to be holding up. It's more or less on, waiting on these to process the, the powder. I might have to get into a a third or fourth smelter going on here. But uh, for the time being, we are up to 12, 250 out of 1,400 that I need. Uh, let's check on the frames. Uh, got 300 iron frames and probably gonna have about 300 copper frames as well now where did I put those uh, right here and about 350 so these are gonna keep going in the background and so on and so forth so yeah we're gonna call this one here that's the wrong button <laughs> uh, let's actually see where we're at with our research 275 of the blue ones. yes I do have to let set up another composer but I don't think there's much else I can do right now uh, smelting speed, yes, let's do that. We're going to need that now with the Atlantum. Uh, got us find that before I get into that. That's just colored glow sticks, you know, if we want to get fancy with the lighting. Don't need to worry about this right now. Uh, that I have to scan. Uh, transportation. The magnet's locked now, but it was, it was available before, and I don't know why. As far as I know, there was no update recently. And then, yeah, that is that. So I guess, uh, next episode. What's this? A 3x3 three three tunneling mode. Oh. Smaller tunnels, I guess. Faster, faster mining. But, yeah, uh, next episode, I should have everything ready to upgrade this terminal. I, we have the processors. Making the Atlantum, I gotta make 3,000... 3,400 of the Mark II conveyors. Ooh, that's gonna be... Gonna be an adventure. Hmm. I might actually get that set up off camera and save you the boredom. Where am I to set it up? I have no idea. I might have to. I've seen about extending this platform up. Since I do still have. Oh, right, where are they? I got 
that I'm here somewhere. Ah. Not many power floors. So we're good for now. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Oh, I'm kind of lost here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Later.